The next transformation that we want to talk about is uh, a tessellation. This is chapter 9.4. Tessellation. Tessellations are a little different, a little strange. Tessellation is a pattern that covers a plane or flat surface by transforming the same figure or set of figures so that there are no overlapping or empty spaces. Now here's a sample. Just taking squares, putting them together, we can simply cover a plane. Look down at the floor, you see floor tiles, 12 by 12 inch floor tiles. Cover the whole surface. Different kinds of floor tiles, different sizes. Look up at the ceiling. You can see ceiling tiles, either 2 by 2 or 2 by 4 ceiling tiles that cover the entire ceiling. Those are examples of tessellations. I think some of the best examples of tessellations is go out and look at uh, Grandma's quilt. Okay? Look at the patterns, look at the squares, look at the swatches of cloth that, that that generation put together to make the quilts. Wedding rings, flowers, tulips, all kinds of things that they put together in order to make quilts. Tessellation. Put together a figure and transform it, move it around, rotate it, Reflect it so that we can put it together so that there are no overlapping or empty spaces. Now let's talk about some of the vocabulary and words that go with tessellations that help us figure out how to do this thing. Remember, tessellation is a pattern that covers a plane by transforming a figure or a set of figures so that there are no overlapping or empty spaces. Now we can have a regular tessellation. A regular tessellation is formed by only one type of regular polygon. In other words, we're going to use one type of regular polygon to form a regular tessellation, such as an equilateral triangle, square, a hexagon, those sorts of things. In other words, one type of regular polygon. Also, the term uniform. Uniform applies if the same arrangement of shapes and patterns occurs at each vertex. In other words, everywhere there's a corner, it's always the same. Same number of shapes, same pattern. Semi-regular tessellation is a uniform tessellation. In other words, it has to match this. It is formed by using two or more regular polygons. Okay, let's look at some samples. Here's regular and uniform. Regular, just using squares. Look down at the floor. Here's a regular using equilateral triangles. Okay, they're also uniform. Why? Because at every vertex, what do you have? You have four squares, four squares, four squares. You'd have another four squares there. Look at this. At every vertex, you have one, two, three, four, five, six equilateral triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You would have six equilateral triangles. Okay? Regular and uniform. One type of regular polygon. Squares here. Equilateral triangles here. And uniform. Every vertex looks the same with the same, ar same arrangement. Now, let's look at an exa example of a semi-regular. It's a little rough, but semi-regular, remember, already has to be uniform. So let's look at it. Semi-regular would be using two or more regular polygons. Well, let's use equilateral triangles and squares. So we have a square topped by the equilateral triangle. Look at this right here. We have square, 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 equilateral triangle. Now, look at the, at the vertex. Two squares, three equilateral triangles. Look at this vertex. Two squares, three equilateral triangles. Let's look down here. Two squares, three equilateral triangles. Okay? So we've formed a tessellation, or we've covered a plane flat, no overlapping, no empty spaces, by using two different types of polygons, regular polygons, squares, and equilateral triangles, and every corner or every vertex looks the same. Oh, it may be flipped. Why? Because we've transformed it. Okay? It may be turned or it may be flipped or it may be trans 
bladed simply because we have moved it. Okay? Now, let's see, see what one looks like that is not regular and not uniform. Let's use, okay, let's use squares that are cut into triangles from diagonal to diagonal. They're not regular, why? Because the two sides are equal, but the hypotenuse is longer. So that's not regular. Why? All the sides are not equal. What does this look like? Notice right here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these things coming together. But look here. We only have four. So every vertex is not the same arrangement. Here we have four figures coming together, and here we have eight. Here's another four, eight. Here's another four going to be here, another eight and four. So the pattern repeats itself, but it's not the same pattern. Also, these are not regular figures. So this is not regular and not uniform. These are not regular polygons. Why? Because all the sides are not equal and all the angles are not equal of these triangles. Okay? Definitions and words you need to know. Tessellation, a pattern that covers a plane by transforming the same figure or set of figures so that there are no overlapping or empty spaces. Regular tessellation, tessellation formed by only one type of regular polygon. A regular polygon being one that has all the same sides of the same, same measure, all the same angle measurements. Uniform has the same arrangement of shapes and patterns at each vertex. Semi-regular tessellation and uniform tessellation formed by using two or more regular polygons. Semi-regular tessellation has to be a uniform tessellation. Okay? Using two or more regular polygons. It's vocabulary for tessellations. One of the questions that comes up whenever you begin to tessellate a plane or cover a flat surface with figures so that it does not, they do not overlap or leave any, any empty spaces is what kind of figures can we use? Question, can a regular polygon or a combination of regular polygons tessellate a plane? Or what combination of regular polygons can tessellate a plane? Now we have an equation, measure of angle 1 equals 180 times the quantity n minus 2 all divided by n, where n represents the number of sides of a regular polygon. Let's take an example. A, re a regular triangle, equilateral triangle. All sides are equal, triangle. Measure of angle 1 equals 60. How do we get that? 180 times 3 minus 2, which would be 1, so 180 divided by 3 equals 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. Let's try a square, okay? 180 times 4 minus 2, which would be 2. 180 times 2 would be 360 divided by 4. 36 divided by 4 is 9, add a 0. So the measure of angle 1 is going to be 90, okay? Now, the measure of angle 1, or the interior angle of a pentagon, is 108. Let's look at a hexagon. One interior angle of a hexagon is going to be 120. And we could go on for heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, dodecagon, so forth and so on. Uh, and, and find one, find that interior angle for each of them. But what we want to do is see what happens. Now let's look at this. At every vertex of a tessellation, where every vertex is, I have a seam it comes around like that. How many degrees is in that? 360 degrees. So what we have to have is we have to have internal angles that will add up to 360 degrees. Okay? So let's look at this. We have to have 360 degrees. Well, can I put together equilateral triangles that will add up to 360 degrees? 360 divided by 60 is? Six. So, concept is that I can put together six equilateral triangles 
six triangles would make that work. Let's see if we can make that work. There's one set. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can make that work. All right, so I can put together a set of six equilateral triangles, keep putting those together, tessellate those, transform them, and create a tessellation of a plane. Well, let's try a square. How many times will 90 go into 360? Well, that seems pretty straightforward because 90 goes into 360 four, four times. So I could take four squares. Four squares. One, two, three, four. Okay, that tessellates a plane. How about a pentagon? Well, 180 divided into 360 evenly. Try it. Doesn't work, does it? So can we tessellate a plane with just pentagons? It's not going to happen. Why? Because there's either going to be overlapping space or there's going to be empty space. Either pentagons are going to overlap, which we cannot do because tessellation doesn't overlap, or it's going to create empty space that's not covered. And that also is not a tessellation. So a pentagon by itself will not tessellate a plane. How about a hexagon? Look at it. Take a hexagon, divide 360 by 120, what do you get? Three. So we can take three hexagons, put them together. Well, I'm not too good at this, but let's see if we can do this. Okay. Okay, we have three hexagons. We have put together three hexagons. We have another one there, another one there, another one there, and we could simply transform, translate, rotate, okay, these hexagons around to tessellate a plane. Now, how about combinations? Combinations that would equal 360. What combinations of triangles and squares would equal 360? Well, we saw a combination, didn't we? What did it look like? Well, it looked something like this. Let's put two squares together, see what we get. Look like that. What comes together? Look right there. You got one, two, three triangles and one, two squares. So we could put together three triangles and two squares. That would work. How about hexagons and triangles? Would that work? This is 60. This is that. Let me see. 60 plus 120 is 180. So could we put together two triangles and two hexagons? Let's see if we can do that. Uh... Wow, look at there. Right there, that corner. Two hexagons, two triangles. Two hexagons, two triangles. Start stacking those up and making it look that way. Okay? So what we're looking at is we're looking for combinations where the interior angles of the polygons, when added together, will make 360 degrees. Those are the polygons that we can use to tessellate a plane. How do we find that interior angle? Right here. 180 times the quantity n minus 2, all divided by n, where n is the number of sides. We'll use that quite a bit the rest of the year. We're introducing it right now. Get that down, know it, understand it. That's how you're going to figure out how we tessellate a plane. Okay? Welcome to tessellations. This is how Grandma figured out how to make a quilt. She did it by piecemeal. We're doing it by mathematics. <laughs>